I don't mean them to be. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, well, I need to give some people some advice, I think. Advice. Stirring the porridge. I think of Miss Rymer's grave. She's past her century if she's not in it. I wish I'd written this, she wrote on my homework. Keep stirring, don't stop, my mother always were warned. Some advice, some praise stays with you. Keep stirring or life goes lumpy. Nothing <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Uh, there's another thing about my mother. <clears throat> Retirement plans. When I grow old, said my mother, I'll change my life. I'll rent a garret on the left bank of the Seine in Paris, give up being a mother and a wife, spend my days painting, drink red wine all night. My friends will be artists. Maybe I'll write. But what about Dad? I objected. My mother reflected. He'll be okay, she said. He'll buy a janabi, sand sandals and a scarab, and live in the desert along with the Arabs. He's learning the lingo at evening class. He'll go over to Egypt. I thought, what a gas! I'll spend April in Paris, winter with Dad. There was going to be some fun to be had. I hoped that my parents' dreams all would come true. But after all that, they just moved down to Bude. <laughs> <laughs> A true story. <laughs> yeah. oh. um, here's something we ought, ought to be thinking about. Animal psychology. We're also bound up we're out with our own states of mind. We don't think about animals. So this is a little treatise on animal psychology. Wanderlust is not uncommon amongst hamsters since they first perfected travelling on wheels. Schadenfreude is a trait that some rabbits, one in eight, will admit to with vicious little squeals. Claustrophobia is a prob problem for the ferret. For them, travelling in trousers makes them sick. <laughs> Hysteria is found in many moles underground, so they have to dig their tunnels very quick. <laughs> Glaukenstuka is what every gold goldfish feels when it knows it has been reveling too much in the sufferings of flatfish who are bullied by catfish or the battered cod the cat won't even touch. <laughs> Aphasia can be fatal in a parrot. Dyspraxia affects one snake in three. Guinea pigs who can't relax get mild panic attacks. <laughs> but respond quite well to water therapy. <laughs> um, I think I'll cut it barely. Oh no, here's a, just a little one. This is a fairly recent poem. It's called Classified, and I've written it too small. Here we are. <laughs> Classified. This poem is hiding a secret. In a culvert below managed landscape, a torrent pours carrying debris. Rusted gratings of metaphor and cliché filter and mask the secrets under the surface of this poem. This poem is a captured fighter, reveals only name, rank and number, refuses to state origins, purpose or destination. This poem will not prevent floods. This poem will not win medals. <laughs> and finally, a recipe. How to make a dress out of silence. Take a yard of the quiet of a dawn before the, the birds wake. Use the sudden hush before a storm and the breathless pause before a truce is spoken to create a template for your bodice. Be sure to calculate the volume of the air held in place by the lungs alveoli so that it stretches easily across the depth and breadth of your chest. Cut out the skirt from a length of the boundless, soundless vacuum of space. Now thread a hiatus with a sense of absence and sew into one piece. Try on the dress. Listen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>